So I thought I would talk with you while I journal or I work in my traveler's notebook. Tuesday, oh yes, so there was a concert or like, I guess like a concert at my son's daycare. Um, but my son was really like he, I, I don't know what it was, I guess he was like really, really excited that I was there. So he wasn't really paying attention to the concert. He was more happy that um, like, the, the other parents were there as well and he was more uh, happy about that fact I think so it's right here I thought I would uh, I don't know if I could do this write and talk and <laughs> journal at the same time I was tagged by uh, the lovely Grace I will post her Instagram and YouTube down below but she tagged me in one of her challenges uh, and I thought I would answer some of the questions. Unfortunately, the questions are in my phone and I'm using my phone to film. So I'm just going to go off the top of my head. Um, so school daycare concert. Her take is about uh, planner friends and friendships. And so I think um, I'm just going to ramble about planner friends and friendships, I suppose. So I don't know if you noticed, I have these texts scattered around. Um, my rule of thumb for myself that I keep for myself is that wherever the text starts, whatever column it starts, that's the day it happened. So um, the days are kind of split into columns here. Um, so for this one, super cloudy and humid today, the writing started on the 6th. So that's when it actually happened. The school daycare concert, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it started on the 5th because it's uh, the writing started on the column of the 5th. So that's just um, a little rule that I have for myself. And I just kind of like to scatter things around. Um, sometimes I like to fill in some open space, so I'm going to see if there's some uh, stickers that I can fill in. Maybe I should write in everything first and then I will fill things in. I kind of like this bird, but I'm not too sure if it's really going to match with anything. Maybe I'll just stick it right here. So like I was saying, uh, the really kind and lovely Grace uh, she created a like a planner community tag. You know how some people on social media have these tags where you answer some questions. Uh, it's her questions are based uh, around planner community and planner friends. And like I said, my the questions are on my cell phone, and I'm using the cell phone to film. So I'm just going to I guess ramble about the or talk about the planner community. Uh, I. So since moving to Japan, to be honest with you, I felt really lonely and um, secluded. I felt that I didn't have any friends. Uh, it was difficult for me, it's still difficult for me to make friends here in Japan because of the language barrier and I don't want to use that as an excuse. I need to learn, I need to, learn to speak Japanese. Um, more fluently so that I can make more friends in Japan but in general as a person like as my personality I'm not really I'm not a huge uh, social being or a social person I don't really like to go out to I don't know I'm, I'm more of a homebody and I like to stay at home I don't I'm not one of those people that have tons of friends I just have some select few that I'm close with so I know I don't want to make an excuse that, you know, language barrier, language barrier, I can't make friends in Japan. It's That's not an excuse. I need to, um, I need to study my Japanese. But anyways, I felt really lonely since moving to Japan from Canada. So anyway, so when I got into planners and I got more involved with the planner community, I can really, I really appreciate the planner community because I was able to connect with people that share the same hobby and sh that share the same like. Um, sorry, I'm not even like, <laughs> I'm not even generally, I'm like talking. Um, and so I'm very, very appreciative to the to the planner community and to those of you who reach out and message and watch the videos. I really, really do appreciate it. 
I think one of her questions was, um, how did I meet my friends or my planner friends? I will definitely say online through Instagram and YouTube. Um, Sorry, off topic. I'm going to go with this sticker here. It says, life is short. Don't be lazy. I like this one because it has blues and like browns. I don't like some some weeks I go with a color theme and then some weeks I just kind of do whatever. But I'm seeing that there's a lot of browns and blues. So I'm just going to uh, add this sticker. So back to the tag. Uh, yeah, so I met a lot of my planner friends through the internet and I'm very appreciative uh, it's just it's like a crazy web I initially met met up with April Penguins Creative on um, like she's all over the place she's on Instagram and on YouTube as well but I, met, I initially met up with her and then she said oh my friend Esther wants to meet with you and then I met up with Esther who actually lives here uh, in Japan and then it just like it just keeps like one person uh, introduces me to somebody else I met up with uh, Amanda Two Cups Travels and then she introduced uh, um, Esther and myself to Momo Loves Paper and then we also met uh, Life at 30 something like it's just a wonderful web of planner friends it's just crazy and it's I don't want to say planner friends anymore because we're really friends like we almost text each other every day it's just such a lovely community and I'm so thankful for it. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it here. I'm so so thankful because without it I I would I I would be really really down and low. I it's just it's one thing to make friends in Japan and be able to speak Japanese. It's sometimes I would I just want to rant or I want to complain in, you know, in English or if I have something that I want to get off my chest, I want to be able to speak to somebody. Um it's it's different when it's over the phone or through email. You know, a face-to-face -face contact is important sometimes. And so I'm really appreciative that I'm able to meet up with these spe uh, special planner friends or friends. Uh, we try and meet up once a month. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult um, because I have the my young kids. But it's really, really nice to get out because I really... Sometimes there's days that I just I'm indoors and I just, the only people that I speak to are the daycare people and... You know my kids and my husband comes home and there's just it's just us <laughs> so I'm really grateful for the sweet friendships um, that the planner community has introduced me to so moving forward this one is Saturday there was uh, oh that's right Friday night I stayed up so late um, I, it's most likely because uh, she's either te teething or she's learning new things. She's starting to not fully walk, but she's taking a couple of steps here and there by herself. So she's um, exploring a lot of things and it's probably just a transition time for her. And she's probably um, really excited about it as well. So her sleeping schedule has been a bit off. I think it's nice to document some of these things in here. It's not always about happy items. I mean, of course, you can make a gratitude journal and journal journal about all your happy things. But I like to be, I guess, realistic and remind myself that these are days that I had um, a rough time. And Saturday was... We had a Natsumatsuri, which is like a summer festival. We ate yakisoba, which are like noodles, uh, kaki, kakigori, which is like uh, ice, ice shavings, is that what it's called? Um, you shave the ice and then you put like a sweet syrup on top. If you know what that's called, please leave them in the, please leave it in the comments down below. Um, and, oh yeah, odango, which are... Um, like round rice, round rice mochi balls with red bean, oops, red bean paste. It was yummy. And I don't remember what we did on the Sunday. I didn't write anything, so 
I think we... Uh, if you don't know, I have a subscription box. I do a subscription box for Japanese stationery. So if you're just curious, I will leave all the information down below. So we did a shipment. We shipped out a, um, some boxes on Sunday. So I have this open space. I can leave it as is for sure. I can do some stamping. I can put some stickers. So I'm going to look through here. Uh, let's see if there's any dango. This is kind of similar to dango. It's not much. It wasn't much of flavored, but I want to use the sticker here. It was actually really nice and soft. It's made of rice. These stickers are so pretty. So I don't know if you caught it here. I started watching. The season three of Narcos. Where should I put this? Um, and I've already finished it. My goodness. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like some days like this when I'm up until two thirty and I need to stay awake. I usually put something on the TV and um, so that I can stay awake. So I think I watched a lot uh, that day there. This quote is pretty. It says, don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect. That's really nice. I will maybe put that here so that I can remind myself that there are days that just don't work, that are just tough. I'm kind of wanting some more layering here, so I think I'm just going to add some washi tape. Kind of to break that up. These are uh, numbers. I don't know if you can see that. It says 9 and 10. Maybe I'll put more washi tape here. And I'll do more layering again. I'm just taking this color from this washi tape here. So yes, I've been watching Narcos and as well, I think somebody recommended last time, somebody recommended uh, somebody recommended Ozark from Netflix, and I've been really enjoying that as well. It kind of reminds me of a Breaking Bad. Just, I guess this, I don't want to say too much about it, but yeah, it just kind of reminds me of Breaking Bad just a little bit. <laughs> I loved Breaking Bad, by the way. I'd like to tear the washi tape and add layering here and there. This is just a piece that I have left, so I'm just going to place it down here. Sometimes it doesn't really make sense, and that's okay. I really like the washi tape from I, uh, this artist here. Her name is Yuko Higuchi Yuko. I really like her artist. That artist, like she's just it's so, her illustrations are just so out there, and I really like it. So I'm gonna put this one, cut it out. So I don't remember what other questions were in the tags. It was about planner community, and um, if you have any planner community friends, where did you meet them? Um, so we do meet up once a month, at least I think. Um, some of the girls meet up more frequently. I'm unable to just because, uh, you know, I have kids and it's hard to get out into Tokyo. But yeah, and we like text each other all the time and when we find something or like a sale or I don't know, when something that ca catches our attention, we always message each other. Like it's just a lovely, lovely group of friends that I'm so appreciative <laughs> to have in my life. Mm, I like this mushroom stamp. I don't want to take away too much from it. So there's this, but I want to put something else here. So it was a bit cold. 
couple of days, several days ago, and now the heat's back again. It's just crazy. Crazy hot and humid, even in September. I think in Canada it's kind of cooled down a bit. I think, I'm not sure, actually. Um, but yeah. I know in Toronto there's this exhibition called the CNE, and it usually occurs during the Labor Day weekend, or it starts at the end of April and then it goes into the Labor Day weekend, and that usually marks the end of summer. <laughs> My sister was um, sharing some photos of her time at the CNE, so I was like, oh, it's the end of summer already. <laughs> it's so fast. These watercolor elephants are so pretty. I think I want to uh, put one in here. So pretty. This one is so cute. It kind of doesn't really go with um, the... I, I guess it's not... I don't really have a theme going on, but... Where should I put it? Maybe up here? There's... I'll put it here. I think that's all I want to do. I don't know. I feel like it's a bit empty here, but I don't know what else to put. I don't want to add too much. I guess I could do more of the flower stamping, and maybe that's what I'll do a little bit later on. But the video is already like 15 minutes, so I think I will leave it as is. Uh, I don't know what do, what do you feel about these videos I feel like they're so boring and um, are they interesting I'm just kind of rambly and chatty and doing my planner pages in a really slow manner I don't know if that's interesting or not or if you want me to continue showing them to you once in a while I love this page I stitched the paper. I received these stamped images from Reed's Stationery Madness and um, I don't own the Chamel Garden stamp here uh, so she stamped a whole bunch on some pieces of paper and then I stitched it in and it's so pretty. I think I did this one last on camera like I filmed a bit of it on camera but like I said, I usually do a day at a time or a couple days at a time. I just uh, do my writing blurb and then I stick some stickers and then that's it. It's like really like five, ten minutes, really, really quick every day. Sure. But anyways, I hope you check out Grace. Um, she's such a sweet, sweet lady. Thank you so much, Grace. I don't know if you're watching. Thank you so much for the tag. Uh, if you want to participate in the tag, do check out her uh, YouTube video. She's listed the tag questions. And if you do do the tag, please tag me and tag Grace. I would love to uh, listen to your comments or read your comments if you end up posting it on Instagram. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking by. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.